What's happening with my subscribers, man? What's happening with my subscribers, man? So, as a result of uh, the last video with Nate, I kind of felt the need to see what what became of emotional ass Sally. What became of emotional ass Sally? First off, when I caught my attempted murder. He, something happened to him where he ended up getting jumped on, on one yard. I don't know why they jumped on him, but they jumped on him. So, by the time I catch up to him in another yard, he on a whole another yard, right? And he get in the bag. And he get in the bag. So, when I come up on the yard, he thinking, he telling people, yeah, my little protege here, right? All the while, I'm like, I am not this nigga's protege. I don't know why he keeps saying it. But at one time, when he had me under his wing, though, you might have could have got away with that. But now, I'm starting to see the shit that he's doing is actually foul. Actually foul. Even leading up to woofing on the police and us going up in the office and, and then him, him pump faking on us. Man, he put us in a lot of situations, man. So actually, I want to I want to say to you, I hope that you never get the opportunity to corrupt or take advantage of anybody ever the way that you did with me. I could have, man. Every knife that I carried, every time I almost got caught one time, right? I didn't even know I was carrying knives, right? But I'm telling you, the police. Came, he was wolfing on the police. The police come up in the motherfucking thing, right? They come to the door. They like step out. They, cause we, he, he yelling about some fucking sheets and some laundry. He didn't get his sheets, so they coming in to see how many sheets we got, right? Police walked in the cell, flipped my mattress back, seen that knife, and flipped it back and said, "Whoo, I'm not searching this cell. I don't know what y'all got up in here," and left out the and left out the cell. Like, get him whatever. And left out the cell. I didn't even know. That was the first time I would have got whooped at it. And I didn't even know no better from carrying these knives. So, anyhow, man. I just want to let you know, emotional ass Sally. I outgrew you. It took eight and a half years to get your ways up out of me. But it did. It ain't cool to put to bestow violence upon another man and corrupt a person. That it ain't cool. Rudy, Rudy was a cool last Sally. Rudy had life without though. He had life without. He was on the yard with his with his with his crime e too. Him and his crime e was my crime e's on an attempted murder. Ain't that some shit? So them two had a murder on the streets. And then they kind of attempted murder and did in prison together. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? But Rudy, man, you was a cool ass Sally. I remember one time, man, look, when me and Rudy was Sally's, man, look, the toilet stopped working. In Salinas Valley, the toilet stopped working in the middle of the fucking summer. In the middle of the summer. Man, look, it was some uh, it was some unspeakable barbaric things going on. You know, first of all, we got to cover it. We got to cover. We got to piss and then cover the toilet because it ain't flushing. It's not going down. The sewer is backed up. The water shut down. It's ugly. The whole, there's no plastic bags, nothing. People was throwing plastic bags on the tier, but it didn't make no sense. It's not going down. Your toilet is filling up. You and your Sally going back to back. You like Sally? I think yours might fill it up this time. So what you gonna do? You gonna pour this issue out the door this time? Cause look, man, it was getting bad to where people was having to dig that cup in the toilet and just shove that shit on the tier. Cause you, I mean, it wasn't. It couldn't go down the sink. It couldn't go down the toilet. It was real, man. Me and Rudy was in there bonding, man. Rudy had some. Rudy used to fart, boy. I'm telling you. But this shit just think, man. It was. It was like. It was like, man. We had the shit, the thing covered right, but we knew it was a nightmare up under that toilet stool, though. We knew it was a nightmare up under that sheet. So every time somebody had to use the bathroom, be like, well, 
Here goes nothing. <laughs> hey, Rudy, I also want to apologize, Rudy, because when I thought that that stuff got stuck up inside you, I, I, I shouldn't have said those things that I said, man. But I, I apologize, Rudy. I apologize, man. I hope they showed you love, man. Took that life sentence off, too. Buff. Buff was a funny-ass Sally. Lil Buff, he was a funny-ass Sally. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You want to know about Bonds? Me and Lil Buff used to borrow the radio. Because we in the hole. We in ass said. We used to borrow the radio so we could listen to... Well, I don't know if it was Monday Night Raw. It was it was SmackDown, so we could listen to SmackDown on the radio with a little ass little radio that dude used to pass around to the homies. Me and Buff being there SmackDown listening to wrestling and shit. That was my nigga. We was hey, we almost burnt ourselves up in the cell because we used to take. Bombs and make we used to cook with the like you take a milk carton right and you rip up hella other milk cartons and you put them inside that milk carton with a little bit of water and that shit turn actually no water but that shit cook up like a bomb and it keep a steady flame for a minute when we was in there trying to we, we was in there trying to heat up some water and make a soup because the water don't get hot in the hole you gotta figure out your own ways to heat the water up so we in there heating up hot water in the milk carton over fire. Over fire in the hole. Lil Buff is also that's also the celly that that's also the celly that uh we extorted the police for a pack of humps in the hole. Lil Buff, that was a celly, that was a funny ass dude. Lil Buff, I'm telling you, he made me kick cause it was mandatory yard for bloods. It was mandatory yard for bloods in the hole. He made me kick his ass in the leg. In the shin, hella hard, so he didn't have to go out to the yard and work out, cause it was mandatory bust down in the hole. It was mandatory bust down. But that's what's up, man. Hey, motherfucker, let me see. Money Mike, Money Mike. That was that was my that that Sally right there, man. I'm going to say we bonded because there were some times when you meet Sellies that was just too good to be true. Like, we get along too motherfucking good. I don't know how this happened. And it only happened over a shirt because I needed a shirt to get behind the wall to go get my package. And he gave me the shirt off his back. That was real blood love. For, that was real shit for me. So from then on, we ended up bonding. Now his name was Mizzle, and I was Dizzle. Mizzle and Dizzle. Mizzle and Dizzle. And we was on this one. And so we ended up, anyhow, we ended up becoming sellies. We was both alcoholics at this time. I'm talking about we had a, a streak of drinking Pruno for 30 days straight. It was actually like 33, 32. But it was, man, we was drinking, getting drunk for 30 some days straight. Whether it was his batch coming down, my batch coming down. Or we was buying, buying or putting in it in other batches. Thirty days straight, we was drinking. By the time it was all said and done, I had caught hepatitis. I caught hepatitis A from alcohol. I caught alcohol poison. I thought I had. I thought I had the motherfucking uh, Ebola. But that shit. By the time it was over from drinking all that foul ass fruit and shit. I was told the fuck up. Told the fuck up. I remember one time, though, we got drunk, and you know that it's a Prince song called Until the End Time. This nigga just started crying out of nowhere. This nigga was throwing up. This nigga was on his knees, throwing up on the toilet while Prince was playing. Until the End Time. <laughs> Oh man, I laugh. I will get on his ass today if I see no about that one. Man, Mikey GP, that was a celly for the ages right there. That was a celly for the ages. Cause Mikey GP, that nigga was a definition of solid. That nigga was a definition of solid. 
Me and him had fun. I was doing my thing. I was getting the bag. The only thing he had to do was keep it solid and enjoy the ride. And that's what he did. Keep it solid and enjoy the ride. When he was always trying to figure out what I had going on, he never would tell. So this is a shout out. I'm just speaking on my cellies, man. So if you was my celly and I don't speak on you, man, man, don't it ain't nothing personal, but I'm just giving a shout out to my cellies. It ain't nothing. It really ain't nothing. But you know, I had some good ass cellies. But Mikey GP, man, my bad on breaking your TV too. That was a real life accident. Like I was trying to grab something on your shelf and your TV just fell forward and poo. That motherfucker just, it's got spider legs. Just the whole TV screen just, just turned to black spider webs. I was like, damn, this nigga gonna come back from work. I'm gonna be like, fuck. So I, when it came back, I already told him because I had a cell phone. So I told him, I already got this much money and I had a rest for you on this day right here. I had to replace it. I had to replace it. That was my celly though. We used to play Scrabble. Me and me and Mikey GP from Skyline, we used to play Scrabble all day. I used to be getting on this shit. Sometimes he be getting on my shit too. I ain't gonna lie. We play Scrabble all day because it ain't shit to do in no 180 design prisons. Except go to the yard, come back in, and play Scrabble. That's what we did. That's what we did. Yep. Solo, my cousin, man. I can't say enough about it. It ain't nothing like being in the cell with your family, man. I remember when my cousin, when, when my cousin first moved in the cell with me. I think he slept for about like three days straight, cause he came from the county jail. When you know you kind of wound up and stuff. So when the reality hits you that you in prison, it's like damn. Then you can relax. You with your, fa you with your family, you with somebody you could trust. It's like ah, man. Other than that, man, and no good, no good speak for itself, man. That was a selling, man. Shout out to you, man. I just know one day you're going to come home because there's there's many deserving people behind the walls, and you're one of them. Shout out to no good. Other than that, this was just a letter to, this was a, this was a video about my sellies. So if you wasn't feeling it, my bad, but this video has nothing to do with you. This was about me talking about my cellies, man. Shout out Money Mike. Shout out Mikey G. Money Mike from, from Lincoln. Shout out Mikey GP from Skyline. Shout out AJ from Swans. Shout out Lil Buff. Shout out uh, uh, Rudy. Shout out Chaos. No, no, no. Matter of fact, I take that back. No shout out to Chaos because this is a bonus story. Whatever happened to emotional ass Sally? So when I popped up on the other yard, I separated myself from him. We had a little riot and whatever thing, but we I separated myself from him. So what happened is they knew that that if they knew I they knew if, if I was there, the chances of them getting sliding up on him was slim. And I'm talking about the L.A. Bloods and one of the homies. So what happened is as soon as I caught my as soon as I went to the hole, they to, they sent me to the hole for a battery where I almost got thrown over the tier. The very next day, five niggas come to the hole. They didn't rat pack, they didn't rat pack the emotional ass Sully. Soon as he came off a of visit, they was like, well, come on, walk this way. And got on this shit. Cause he was on some foul shit. I mean shit, what could I say? Then I heard about when he went to other prisons and got got beat up. Then to make matters worse. When I was in Tracy in 2017, I'm looking in the hallway at the PCs that's coming by. And sure enough, he was PC. That's the end. That's what ended up becoming of emotional ass Sully. Years later, he ended up SNY. No shot. I ain't not saying that's a bad thing for other people, but for somebody that was a tyrant and talked all that tough shit to end up like that. Nah, nah, but anyhow, shout out to my cellies, man, some of y'all some good dudes, I need, I, I mean, I would love to see y'all come home, man, hit me up, one of the dirty, little, 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 little,